NATO forces are moving away from the multi-year deployments seen in the Balkans and then Afghanistan to a new force structure, one that is lighter on its feet and ready to respond robustly to any threats from wherever they may come. It is important that we have these kind of forces because uh, NATO is facing a new security environment, both uh, caused by violence, turmoil, instability in the south, uh, ISIL in Iraq, Syria, North Africa, but also caused by the behavior of uh, a more assertive Russia, which uh, has used force uh, to change borders, to annex uh, Crimea and to destabilize eastern Ukraine. This group of multinational soldiers are the first to exercise as a so-called spearhead force involving more than 2,000 troops. The force is officially referred to as a VJTF, or Very High Readiness Joint Task Force. The aim is to build the land element of the VJTF around a core brigade of about 5,000 strong and have the spearhead troops able to deploy from their barracks within 48 to 72 hours. I think that uh, the development of a very high readiness task force that is able to respond is applicable to the east, it's applicable to the south, it's applicable to the north, it's applicable in every direction because fundamentally it is a war fighting, war ready unit that can respond to the needs uh, of the aspirations of the alliance. The VJTF is just one of a number of measures in NATO's Readiness Action Plan, or RAP, which was signed off at the Wales Summit last year. RAP will mean more land, sea and air exercises on collective defence, much like this one, Exercise Sabre Strike, which took place in Latvia, Lithuania and Poland. It involves 6,000 troops from 13 nations. Well, there are a lot of ingredients into what we call RAP, the Readiness Action Plan. Um, here in the easternmost uh, flank of the alliance, it means that for the first time in NATO history, uh, and since these allies have joined the alliance, we'll have a NATO flag flying in each of these eastern flank countries, and that's very important. Six NATO command and control centers are being set up in countries in Central and Eastern Europe. These are known as NATO Force Integration Units, or NFIUs. These units will be manned by about 50 personnel, half of them provided from the host nation. The NFIUs will provide reception and logistical support for the VJTF and help to plan its deployment and participation on exercise or operations. Two basic messages here. One is to ourselves, and that is that Article 5, the mutual defense clause of the Washington Treaty that glues NATO together, means what it says. It means that we can operate like this together. We take training seriously, uh, and this is serious business. So Article 5 means what it says. The other message is to anyone who might imagine, uh, rather foolishly, that they could uh, be aggressive against one of our NATO allies. And the message there is, don't mess with NATO. NATO's Eastern allies are all too aware of the increased aggression from Russia. For them, RAP provides assurance. In Estonia, this was demonstrated recently when it hosted one of the biggest land and air exercises in the Baltics. Uh, we believe that uh, we as, uh, as NATO allies uh, can feel secure and uh, we know that uh, NATO solidarity is strong. We know that uh, our allies will come to our assistance if necessary. But obviously it's important to deliver that message uh, unequivocally also to Putin and, 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 and his regime in, in, in Moscow. Um, we believe deterrence is important. We believe that all the adversaries can be deterred. And that's exactly what uh, Allied presence on our soil is, is about. This is Mel Preen for NATO Channel.